Go eat your food. You guys know whenever I travel, I absolutely love going snorkeling, sailing, and being on the water. And that is why today we have joined Corsail Sailing Charters to do exactly that. We're gonna be doing the underwater park, we're gonna be sailing the waters of Grenada, and hopefully we're gonna have an absolutely wicked time. So, let's get into it. The journey begins. Yeah. And we have just boarded our pirate ship. I'm really excited to just get on the water and start properly experiencing Grenada because we have been affected by the storm. But I just hope the storm has not made the waters too murky for this trip. Coconut rice and beans, basmati rice, three types of fish, pompano, wow. kingfish, ahi, and we've pasta salad. The menu just <laughs> continues and continues. Popsy oh is cooking God. the food today on the cruise ship. Yes. So really, really excited for that. Rum punch. Woo! Yeah. Cheers. So we have made our first stop here at St. George, which is the capital of Grenada. Now this area is known as the Carinage, which is this beautiful sort of walkway where people can come along and have a walk. You can see how beautiful St. George's really is. I mean, back in the 1980s, 1990s, it was actually rated the most beautiful city in the whole of the Caribbean. But in 2004, Hurricane Ivan did destroy a lot of the capital. Since then, there has been a lot of new buildings implemented, but I personally still think it is absolutely stunning here. There's nine different religions here. Oh, that's why there's so many different churches. churches. Yeah. Here in Grenada, they actually say that if you're dead, unwell, or you're in trouble with the law, you actually get the best views. The prison is actually located with beautiful views all over this area. The graveyards are also on the beachfront properties. And if you are sick, that is the hospital. The views there look pretty amazing. We have stopped off to our snorkeling location number one. This is the underwater sculpture park and this was actually created in 2006 following Hurricane Ivan because the reef was actually destroyed due to the hurricane. Which sculpture are you most excited to see down there? The ring of people. Three, two, one. so much fun, so amazing to be down there. It was so peaceful, so relaxing, so calm. It is stress provoking at the start, but as soon as you start to relax and you start to get more acquainted with how to breathe underwater, it all becomes a lot more simple and a lot more natural. How was that for you? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was work. It was work? Hard work. It was definitely worth it. Right. But it was strenuous. Yeah, that was amazing. Time for lunch? Of course. Yeah. So it seems lunch is served. Salads, pasta, rice, chicken skewers. This one? Thank you very much. This is a kingfish. This King is an ahi. Yes. Wow. Food, delicious, really impressed. And they do all the cooking downstairs on this boat. In fact, the owner of the boat, Mark, actually lives on this boat with his wife. His wife cooks, he runs the tours. And four doggies. And they've got four doggies. Four dogs as well live on this boat. And apparently they're gonna go for a swim. Where are they going? Ready? Where are you going? What is going on? Ready? Go beach your three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Woo! Oh! Guys, that is crazy. There are four dogs now going for a swim. So if you were wondering where the four dogs were actually living, it's down here. And this is also where Mark and his wife lives. This is so cool how everything's all just contained in this area, in this small boat. A bathroom, that is amazing. I'm literally in the bath in a boat. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> Wow. 
What? This is so, so cute. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? Because I haven't. Give me a kiss. Oh, so detour, Rachel's hat has just dropped into the water because of the wind. We are actually turning the boat around and we're gonna go back and hope we can see it. Ah. It's all right, we got it, we got it, we got it. I feel like, can I just jump in and get it? Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thank you so much. Now we are approaching Grand Aunt's Beach because this is actually going to be the end of the half day sailing cruise with the snorkeling. So there are going to be some people that depart the boat now, but Corsair actually offer a sunset cruise option. So we've got a lovely sunset to look forward to. So Grand Aunt's Beach, if you guys are wondering, is probably one of the best beaches here. There are lots of locals that come here to relax and enjoy the beautiful beautiful golden sands here, but also lots of tourists. Since everyone has departed, it's pretty much become like a private cruise for us. So where are we heading for the next part of our cruise? We don't really have a destination. We're no real cruising. destination. No, we're just getting the sails up, switch the engine off, enjoy the silence of the wind and the sea, and we're just cruising up and down the, the west coast of Grenada. Marriott Lager, which is the local beer from Grenada. The perfect place to enjoy a perfect beer. Chilling at the front of the boat with a great view, great music. So I think Mark needs a hand. I think he's getting a bit tired. Yeah. So you want me to uh, help sort of sails out? Let's pull it. Over to the other side. This is basically an extreme version of tug of war. What are you fishing for? Barracuda, Kuvali, Tuna. Let me know if you get anything, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> if you guys are feeling seasick, have another beer. Be a man. <laughs> Good. Thank you. There you go. Cheers. Wow, guys, what better way to enjoy the sun going down on this beautiful boat than with a lovely glass of champagne. Absolutely amazing end to an amazing cruise today with Corsair. I've had so much fun. Have you had fun? So much. Dogs sound like they've had fun. Real tomatoes with mozzarella, olives, dolmas, artichokes, variety of cheeses. This is a coconut raisin bread with apricot jam, cinnamon roll. Oh my uh, this lord, they look <laughs> unreal. She fried the local fish twice, so it's like very crispy. Is that? Ah, oh, it's just amazing. Love the food. Loving this experience. You guys got a book it. Link to do so will be in the video description. So gooey like a chocolate cinnamon bun made with Grenadian chocolate. It's just amazing. It's a bit crispy, it's soft, sweet, icing, sugary. They've caught a fish. He's finally caught one. Wow, there you go. Oh. It's a stick. And there you guys have it. That is where I'm going to end today's video. This tour has been absolutely amazing. I can highly recommend it for anybody looking for a really good time snorkeling on the water and with some great food. So guys, if you wanna book this tour, make sure you use the link in my video description. And also, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you get notified for the weekly uploads here on my channel. And also click on this playlist right here to see more videos like this one from the Grenada series. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! 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 Woo!